Hey guys, welcome to another coal painting table tutorial. This time we're going to be weathering a uh, side panel for a Blood Angels Rhino. So the paint list here is specifically for the chipping effect itself. We're going to be using Citadel's Wazdeca Red, two Vallejo Game Color uh, paints, uh, Scorch Brown as well as Black, uh, Privateer Press's Kato Red Highlight, as well as a pigment from Secret Weapon, and that's going to be Rust Orange. So for this style of weathering, we're actually going to go on a completely painted model. So in this case, I just painted the side of a panel uh, for a Rhino Red. And in this case, I took a piece of blister foam, uh, ripped it up, and dipped it into the West Echo Red. And just going to be going along the edges wherever you'd think that there'd be uh, kind of a chip on this. Um, this is one method of chipping that just allows you to actually define the spots in a very random pattern initially, and then adding on some depth for it later. So think of the uh, areas that we had here uh, with the West Echo Red as being the outline for the chips, um, just to create some sort of different level and different light effect that's going to be happening with it. Now I actually made a quick little mix of 50-50 uh, Scorch Brown and Black, and in this case I'm just actually painting the inside of all those areas in a pretty, pretty random pattern. It doesn't have to be completely perfect. Uh, the idea here is that we're starting to add in a bit of depth for the actual corrosion that's happening to the metal underneath that paint. I added a few drops of the Kator Red highlight into that same mix as we had last time, just to add on an extra color for different types of corrosion. I didn't want to go straight to rust, that's what we're like a, a rusty orange, that's what we're going to be using the um, secret weapon pigments for, to create that kind of uh, orangey stain that's going across everything. Um, but in this case, this is going to give you one extra level of depth uh, to go across both the uh, light red that we put on, as well as the brown and black mixture. You can treat pigments the same way as you treat normal paint, just remember that when they dry, um, either with a varnish or with a pigment fixer, they're going to be a lot lighter than what they are, so you might have to go over a few different coats, but that's just adding on some rust effects. And now you're taking a look at what the rust looks like after the um, pigment fixer was applied. And that's all it really takes in order to get a pretty quick, pretty nice looking um, rusty rhino um, done in a few minutes. Well, I hope you guys liked that quick tutorial. Um, this kind of method can be used on any color. Just make sure that you're um, sponging on just a brighter color uh, than what you had as your base coat, and that'll create the outline effects that you need to work with. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. That's awesome. It helps me out a lot. And whatever you guys want to see in the future in terms of videos, put down a comment below or put a, a note up on Facebook, and I'll see what I can get to next. Thanks a lot, guys, and have a great day. Bye.